Well, good afternoon. So what's happening here is that my tracker Isaac has spotted a antelope up in a marula tree. Quite far, about 300 meters towards this side from the road. So we're making an access in to see if we can find the culprit to hoist the Dastian book up in the tree. It either can be Shigoro or Nyaleti, or maybe one of the skittish Maya leopards in the area. So let's go have a look and I'll be sure to report back. Okie dokie, so we have checked around that area where that Steenbok kill was hoisted, but no luck on relocating something there. So we'll definitely swing by there a little bit later on. Well, I may be close to um, when the sun sets, when darkness sets in, maybe we'll head in there with the spotlight and go follow up. Unless someone else would have reported, then maybe someone else will go check there later on and find something. Alright, but until then, let's uh, meander about and try and find, find something else. Catch you soon. Hi there. So we found the culprit of this uh, steen book that was hoisted in the Marut Luxury. About 80 meters to that side. And it was moved to a knob thorn about 80 meters to the west. And guess who's sleeping over here? Nyaleti female. So let's zoom in quickly with the video camera and see her breathing and panting a little bit. But yeah, that carcass was unattended for about two, three, well, maybe a day and a half. And we came to check and there was nobody at the carcass itself. So it's really cool to see Nyaleti is here. This morning we saw Shigordo, a previous born. Uh, previous cut and he was about roughly a click towards that side also on Rockvik property spent some time with him as well it's, it's good to see any lady again there we go there's our dear friend in your lady a little star and she's content sleeping Good rest. You can see the bulge in the belly over there. She did have a good feed on that little steenbok. And she's gonna be happy to stick around here tonight. Maybe there'll be some ahinas rocking up here. Uh, she might be up in this tree. Is he feeding? Let's follow the tree trunk. into the sun but there is the little antelope that we saw on the first time when we found it hoisted on a nice horizontal branch of an opthorn tree Just uh, talking about Isaac's spot, uh, Isaac the tracker up front, his incredible spot of the Steenbok. Probably about 300 meters from the road originally, before she moved it. It's incredible. <laughs> the guests were asking, how does he do it? And I thought, well, the man eats a bag of carrots every single morning. Not really. Anyways, so something to look forward to later on. We are definitely going to swing by in Yaleti's location on the way back to dinner tonight. There's something on the horizon for the next half an hour or so. There's another sighting reported, but uh, yeah, we can slowly head there and see what's happening there. 
So we uh, have reached the area of this uh, leopard sighting. Um, that was the update of previously on. And quite interesting, we're working through the entire lineage or family uh, related to Nyaleti. We're actually lucky to have an opportunity to view in Weti. That's her firstborn, your lady's firstborn. She probably yeah, close to you about four years old. And they are suspecting that she might have cubs somewhere. So we'll probably f find that out in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, we get to spend some time with and wear these cups um, if they do survive. So, we have to consider that as well. But she did kill her adult impala. So, yeah, we're going to wait for our chance to to go spend some time with her. I can see the vehicle is pulling out there. Right. Still a lot of meat for young and weighty. Which means moon in the local Shangan language. He's a beautiful leopard. Green-eyed leopard. Still occupying sort of the old um, area of Nyaleti, her old territory, so the eastern side of her territory. Can't help but think with every bite of meat that she's getting and good protein that the cubs that uh, the guys are suspecting that and Weti might have. We'll just have another few days of milk to be uh, or to have or to drink. Oh, as he dropped a piece of meat there. There's no hyenas on the ground currently, so she might be able to stoop down and go pick it up if she wanted to, but there's lots of meat left there. But like I said, if there is cubs somewhere tucked away or hidden away, some of them wait his dear very firstborns, if they are around in her the area she operates. But um, I'll be happy when mom returns with a mammary glands full of milk. This will give her ability to lactate and um, produce nice milk after feeding well. Key to her survival herself and her cubs obviously. It's just a lovely sighting. So we've quickly popped in here by where the Steenbok kill has been hoisted by Nyaleti. But it doesn't seem like in the last two hours she's climbed to feed. It's in exactly the same spot. And Nyaleti is still sleeping soundly on the ground itself. Let's switch over to Nyaleti. It's actually so cool to think that we came from her very first born in Weti. Well, what a pretty sighting and wait he was feeding on an impala in a late afternoon up in a beautiful leadwood tree. We thought we might catch a new lady up in the tree feeding on the steenbok, but it's not the case. She's still sleeping soundly. Some thick grass. She must have had a good meal during the day. And still digesting. Well, I'm just going to spend a few more seconds and we're going to leave her in peace and maybe pop in again tomorrow morning. That's it for now. To all wildlife enthusiasts, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. From the Timbavati Game Reserve and the Rockfic team, stay safe and cheers for now.